Hello everybody, this is String in the Year 4, part 2 of the Trite Tussle Tournament. And we will be concluding our first round matchups here. And now, as for those matchups, we have got this lot. So it is going to be Chomp Dino Tech that going up against the counter type Grey Triceratops. Then we will have Maximus with the Spectral Armor going up against the Strength type Chomp. At third, it will be the Revival type Grey Trite going up against the Paper Paper type Maximus. And to conclude this session, it is going to be Triceratopter going up against the Heroic type Grey Triceratops. Right, let the Trite Tussle begin. Dino Slash! Okie dokie, in the red corner, we have got Chomp Dino Tector. Um, I don't know how strong the Dino Tectors are going to be in this tournament, but since, they're like one, since this is like 1v1 matchups, there's very little opportunity to get the Dino Tector. And by the time you do, you probably have lethal with a normal hit anyway. But hopefully we will see some armor in this tournament. And if not, then, well, you know what. Right, in the blue corner, we have got the counter-type Grey Triceratops. Again, another interesting one here. I'm not sure how this move combo is going to work here, because I don't think there'll be enough time in these matches for it to blossom into action. So yeah, the electric charge attack boost, I think people in my tournament recently used that combo. I mean, it works in 3v3 matches, but I'm not sure if it works in this in this kind of format. Because by the time you get the boost, you pretty much have lethal anyway, so it's kind of pointless to have. But we'll see how it plays out. This is a good start from Chomp, a final thunder. And yes, I am using these moves for once. I, n I never use them. I mean, the main reason is because they're prone to human error. Okay, the counter blitz has been triggered. I mean, it, you gotta have counter blitz. It's counter type, it's kind of his thing. Okay, that's a tie. That does get rid of the counter blitz, sadly, for the uh, Grey Triceratops. Okay, he does get the. Oh, sorry. I, I haven't been well for the past couple of days. I've had a bad tum tum. <laughs> Okay, there's an electric charge, attack boost combo. Okay, here's where the combo could work when you're in a losing situation like this and you need that big hit. So that's where this combo could pair for it. Oh, that's a Gatlin spark and that's going to be lethal for the Grey Triceratops. And Chomp Dino Tector is going to take the 1-0 lead. Two big hits from Chomp, and oh, look at that. Look how close we were to the Dino Tactic. Right, round two. All right then, round two. All right, let's see what round two is going to cook up for us. Ooh, okay. This time it's the Grey Triceratops getting that first hit on the board. The attack boost is going to activate. We should see some electric charge, maybe? Nope. But that attack boost will definitely help him. Okay, there's another hit. That's going to max up the attack boost buff. Okay, maybe this strategy could work. Okay, no electric charge again. For a much better start from the Grey Triceratops. Okay, that's a tie. Chomp yet to get going at the minute. That does trigger the Gatlin Spark though. That's another tie. Oh, is that going to be lethal? The Grey Triceratops is leveling things up. And Chomp really struggled to get a hit there. So, for the first time in this tournament, we're going to go on to a deciding round. Alright, we are all square between these two. The winner goes through, the loser goes home. Okay, we start with a tie. I will say, I think Chomp probably hits harder than the uh, Grey Trike. Even with the attack boost electric charge shenanigans. But that is a big crit from the Grey Trike. The attack boost going to activate. Big shot from the Grey Trike. Okay, that's another tie. Chomp really struggling to get hits at the minute. Hasn't, hasn't landed a hit since their first match. It's a 
another tie. Any more ties? We might see some Dino Tap. Oh, there's another tie. Come on, Chomp. Get the next hit. Okay, it's another tie. And you know what that means. It is Dino Tap the time. Could this be what Chomp needs? Dino Tap the on. See, it's those kind of circumstances where we could see the Dino Tap the way it's just a multiple multitude of times. And it's an ultimate thunder. That's going to do it. Chomp is going to get the knockout. A clinical display from the Chomp Dinotector. Because the Grey Trite definitely got more hits in this match overall. Like three, four. I think he got a crit here. And I think he got like two hits in the other first round. And Chomp only landed three shots. But they were three big shots. And that made the difference. And it is Chomp Dinotector going through to that last eight. Well, there's a lesson on being clinical, guys. Right then, on to our next match. Right the whole then, in the red corner, we have got Maximus with the Spectral Armor. One of, one of if not the tournament favorite. Well, it, it does have uh, better stats than uh, Chomp Dino Tector does. Like, overall. Right then, in the blue corner. We have got Chomp. This one's the strength type version. Although, again, with the armor dinosaurs, I would argue how often you're going to get the uh, armor off. As opposed to a super dino, which is going to get a chance at an awakened hit in every match, practically. But we'll see how it plays out. An interesting match this could be the winner plays Chomp Dino Tactic in the last eight. And it's Maximus landing the first shot of the match. Okay, not much damage done there. That does trigger the Thunder Driver. And Thunder Driver be activate then. This is a strong start from Maximus. Inflicting maximum pressure on Chomp. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh wow, that was a big shot from Maximus. Okay, Chomp not done yet. A light recovery coming in. A big shot from Chomp. And he needed that hit. Now, can Chomp get the next hit here? He is strength type, so this next hit, if Chomp gets it, will do extra damage. Oh, he doesn't. Maximus gets the next hit, but I think that light recovery will spare Chomp the defeat for now. But all Maximus needs is a tie for the 1-0 lead. And yeah, there it is. There's the hit from Maximus. Pretty comfortable for him. And they take the 1 0 lead. Dun, dun, dun. Alright then, round two. And can Chomp land a blow on Maximus this time? Right, we start with a tie. The move breaker there, nullifying that crit of Chomps. Oh, but it's, and it's Maximus getting the first shot again. And poisoning the Chomp. This is not good for Chomp. Thunder Driver getting triggered. Thunder Driver activating. It's a rinse and repeat from the first round. Maximus like, coming out swinging. Gonna deal maximum damage here to Chomp with the poison as well. Oh, bloody hell, he killed it. Just like that, 2-0 victory for Maximus. And they go through to the last eight to play Chomp Dino Tector. And unfortunately for Chomp, they go out on a kind of whimper. Right, next match now. Okie dokie, in the red corner, we have got the Revival Type Triceratops. Hmm, this could be an interesting matchup here. I think we're in for a close one. Right, in the blue corner, we have got the Paper Paper Type Maximus. Uh, no Spectral Armor this time. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out.
Okay, we're starting with a tie. Ties do favor the revival trike more. It does have the tie attack. So that is a factor, and that's a big crit right off the bat. There's a death grind. Good start from the grey trike. Add a little insult to injury there. Ooh, but Maximus responding with a crit of their own. It's a Venom fan. That's going to poison the revival trike. That could be a problem. Even start so far. Both our guys getting off big crits. Okay, back to the ties. Of course, the ties are wearing Maximus down, as is the poison on the revival truck. And that's another tie. I think Maximus might fall to the ties. Oh, never mind. They get a crit. Another Venom Fang. And that is going to be lethal for the revival truck. And it is Maximus taking the 1-0 lead. An interesting tussle there. Maximus almost dying to those ties, but just had enough to survive. Right, on to round two. Right then, round two. Let's see what how this round plays out. Ooh, the revival tried getting the first shot there. Not much damage dealt though. Okay, that's a tie. That tie attack is going to be... I could see tie attack being a big factor here. Lots of ties in this matchup so far. And that's another hit from the Revival Trike. This is a solid start. Maximus yet to get a hit so far. Okay, that's a tie. I think one more tie will do it. And that tie will do it. Maximus going down. And the Revival Trike evening things out. <laughs> A lot of ties in. Only one hit in the entire match, I think. Crazy. Crazy. Right, on our deciding round. Right, on our deciding round. Who has enough gas in the tank to take the victory and go through to that last eight? Ooh, we got a lightning spear. Revival try getting the first shot again. And Mac Maximus really struggling to get hits here. The Great Trunk well on top. Okay, okay, that's a counter blitz. That could change things. Especially given the momentum that the Great Trike has at the moment. Ooh, but Maximus gets the hit anyway. Didn't, didn't need the counter blitz. Oh, and has the momentum swung back in Maximus' favour. That's a Venom Fang. The poison is going to wear down the, the revival trike. That is going to be a big problem for him. And Maximus has taken the lead. Oh, is that going to do it? That's a Lillian cure. Is this lethal damage? Yes, it is. The revival trike goes down. And Maximus gets the 2-1 victory to go through to the last eight round. And this has been a very good video for Maximus fans. <laughs> right then, on to our final match of this session and the final match of the first round. Okie dokie, in the red corner we have got Triceratepter. Or what I like to call him, Triceratepter. Or, um, you know, for those of you that... Want the long version? Triceratops Dino Tactor, the Caction 6 version. Right, in the blue corner, we have got another Grey Triceratops. This time, it's Heroic type. Can it pull off any heroics and get an upset victory here against that Dino Tactor? Or will that Dino Tactor make it 3 out of 3 for the armors? This could be an intriguing match. Oh, 
Ooh, okay, great try getting the first shot of the match. Hmm, I do kind of wish I could change the grey gray trike's moveset, to be honest. Kind of give it a better paper move, since it is heroic type. Oh, that's a crit, though. That's a big thunder bazooka coming from the trike tepter. Oh, wow, that was a big shot. Defense boost activating as well. Okay, that's another hit. That's going to max up the defense boost. This is good. This is really good from the trike tepter. And I do fear for the grey trike at the minute. And, uh, yeah, there it is. Just like that, a 1-0 lead for the trike tepter. And the grey trike really, well, after that first hit, really just couldn't land a shot. Right, on to round two. Okie dokie, round true, round true, round two. <laughs> Oh, and the, the trike tector picking up where he left off, getting getting another hit on the board. Defense boost activate them as well. It's going to really cause the heroic trike some problems. Oh, okay, that's a crit. That's going to be a final thunder as well. This is going to be a big shot. And the final thunder, it does go through defense boost. So this could come in very handy for the great trike. Yes, I think I got it right. Yeah! <laughs> For a second then, I thought I misclicked it and I clicked paper three times, but I didn't. And that is a full force final thunder on that trike tector. And look at the damage. Massive hit for it there, and I, he needed that hit. Oh, and look at this. Another hit from the heroic trike. But again, not much minimal damage done because this... Trike Tech that does have that defense boost. Okay, that's a tie. And that's another tie. Can the can the heroic trike do this? Ooh, ooh. The trike tech they're not done yet. Gets another hit on the board. The defense boost is maxed up, but that's irrelevant because he's on such low health. An interesting crossroads here. And it's the Grey Trike getting the hit. The Heroic Trike is going to even things out. Just about. And the uh, <laughs> Dromeo Rush coming in, because why the hell not? And we are all square in this matchup, so you know what that means. We're going on to a deciding round. Okie dokie, our deciding round. Who has enough? electric called charge in the tank to claim the victory that came out horribly wrong it sounded so much better in my head okay that's two hits from the heroic trike really turning things around here getting a drone or rush on the board as well that'll come in handy and remember that the buff you get from defense boots does depend on the technique of your dinosaur and drone or rush reduces the dinosaur's technique by a hundred so that will come in very handy. Okay, that's a tie. Can the heroic trike pull off the upset? He's got a crit, it's a final thunder. And I think that's gonna be the final attack in this match. Provided I don't screw this up. And we could be on course for our first big upset of the tournament. The heroic trike is going to take out the trike tector in the first round. They're going to get the... Yes, they do. They get the 2-1 victory. And the trike tector is beaten and stunned by a final thunder. And what a way to conclude the first round of matches. Well, that was awesome, wasn't it? Right, we'll have a look at our last eight lineup and then we'll end the session. Well, look at that for our last eight lineup. And actually, this heroic type trike is the only gray triceratops to make it past the first round. All the others have gone out. So, up here, we have got 
Super Chomp against Super Trike. Then we have the Poison type Maximus going up against the Paper Paper type Orange Trike. Then we're going to have a Clash of Armors as Chomp Dino Tector takes on Maximus with a Spectral Armor. And over here, we're going to have the Paper Paper type Maximus going up against the Heroic type Grey Trike. And actually looking at it, yeah, all three Maximuses made it through. Well, both normal Chomps went out. One of the Grey Trike one of the orange trikes went out and the other one got through obviously the biggest upset is the uh, trike tector going out but uh, the other two armor dinosaurs got through both supers got through so yeah crazy <laughs> we could have maximus versus maximus in the final well essentially we could have maximus versus maximus in the semis the trike tussle really heating up but yeah, that's going to end the session here, so I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please leave a like, it helps me out immensely. And, and feel free to leave a pop comment down below. Who do you think is going to win this tournament? And until next time, ta-ta!